Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for another video, another intuitive spiritual download. If this is the first time that you're coming across my channel, welcome. Hey there. Hi there. And shout out to all the beautiful people in the world. Listen, I just had a song in my heart, y'all. Shout out to all the beautiful people in the world. Shout out to all the beautiful people in the world. Shout out. Shout out. I love y'all. Shout out to all the beautiful people in the world, baby. Shout out to all the people that are in high vibrations, feeling good, feeling happy as you should. If you're new to the channel, come on in. Hit that like button for me, please. I really appreciate that. If you like the vibe so far and you feel like this is where you need to be, then guess what? When you hit that like button, it absolutely does help my platform grow in a way that the algorithms start to get into a rhythm, baby, and it finds the people that need the energy, that need the message. Come on in here. Listen, I appreciate it. And thank you in advance. Whatever you decide to do with this energy when you come in is totally up to you. Nine times out of ten, I always like to say by way of my spiritual disclaimer, you already know. Let's put the cards down. Listen, what you coming to the reading for? You already know what they did. You know what they did. You know what they did. You just need to accept it. Somebody needs to call on the law of acceptance. You know what? This is really bringing a lot of positivity, isn't it? 24-7, 365 type of an energy. Join me on my other platform. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Where we obsessively, compulsively, and or deliberately just heal. We have fun. We just stay in a high vibration on purpose because we can. And so we will. And that's just what it is. So come on over. This was a short little commercial break and or infomercial to plug my other platform. <laughs> if you're returning back to the channel, you are my beautiful, amazing, uh, so vibrant, so loving, so incredible, high intuitive, very spiritually discerning soul tribe family. I'm a reflection of you and you're a reflection of me and we love each other so effortlessly. I love y'all. Listen, I gotta sing my soul tribe song. Because I know somebody in the ethers is going to be singing with me. Because you are my brother. You are my sister. Peace be with you. Listen. So try. <laughs> so try. So try. My beautiful soul. Flies high, so high, high frequencies. My beautiful soul tribe. I love you, soul tribe. I love you so much. Shout out to the tambourine. Should we have tambourine and got our tambourine on? Who knows. We'll just go with the flow and see what happens, what comes and what goes. Don't fight the feeling, baby. It's time to unwind. Unpacking that emotional baggage was the best thing we ever did, wasn't it? Isn't it? Especially by way of this cosmic realm eclipse. We out here getting rid of all this nasty ass energy. Ooh, it feels so good to just turn it and churn it into light. You are the alchemist. Nevertheless, coming up as the Empress energy, judgment, balance, Maya energy, Sekhmet energy. Somebody is of the Egyptian royal lineage. Somebody's got really nice Egyptian eyes. I see you. You're so cute. Your eyes can see things that other people can't. I just heard something about your foresight. I call upon the beautiful highest of white light. I call upon the divine angels to just put a shield of protection around me. I call upon my spirit team. I ask that the Most High protect my ear gaze so that I can get the proper downloads and protect my eye gaze. Something about your eyes, eye gazing. Something about people looking into your eyes, baby, and you can burn a hole through somebody's soul because you know. Okay, listen. Woo, that was intense. Do we really even need to pull the cards? Let's just have a conversation. Okay, show me what I need to see, Holy Spirit. Who is this person? Somebody wanted your eyes, honey. Okay, well, why they can't look through their own eyes? Sometimes people see things they don't want to see. 
So they wanted your eyes, okay? Somebody wanted to see through your eyes. Listen, Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. You don't have to be a water sign in order to embody the water energy. If you're a master, you've mastered water as well. Mastered your intuitive side, I just heard. You can see, baby, you could be somebody very spiritual. You could be a psychic. You can be an intuitive person. You are a very psychic and intuitive person. Yeah, clarify that Queen of Cups. Somebody wanted that foresight, honey. Somebody wanted to see what you see. Somebody wanted to see through the eyes of you. I just heard it's not all that it's cracked up to be. Somebody didn't like the fact that they could see, right? Sometimes people want your gifts and it's like, oh, you're going to take my sins too? <laughs> you want to go through what I had to go through to keep this gift and maintain this gift? Okay, on your mark, get set, ready, let's go. Listen, Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy might be real significant. Clarify that. Clarify that Knight of Pentacles. Somebody wants to give you something. Somebody wanted your gift, okay? That Knight of Pentacles is telling me since you were a child, since you were in the womb. Ooh, this is about your mother, okay? Nine of Pentacles. Somebody knew that your mother was pregnant with a very special child with a gift. The Nine of Pentacles is the slowest moving energy in the tarot, honey. You know what that means? Slow moving. That reminds me of a baby in the womb growing for nine months. Virgo energy. The Virgin Mary is what I'm getting. I just heard Mary Magdalene. Okay. All right. Come through spirit. Mm. Somebody knew that you were a gift. Something about your teenage years. This is when you really started to tap into your power. Somebody's had this power all their life, but something about your gift started to change, your assignment, something about how you were seeing the world as a child. Knight of Pentacles is a teenager, a young person. Uh, you could be a divine masculine. Somebody's a twin. Somebody's twin survived in the spirit realm, I just heard. Somebody's keeping from you that there was another baby. Your mother could have been pregnant with two people or two children. That's what I just heard. A boy and a girl. The boy passed away. And somehow you inherited this person's gifts, this twin's gifts. It's like they're ascended to the spirit realm. And here you are, you're the child that made it by way of the nine of pentacles. And you're claiming their gifts. It's like, it's like two versions of you. It's like you get a twofer by way of uh, the spirit realm. Somebody hit this from you, the moon. They absolutely did. Somebody was pregnant with twins, honey. Hmm. Yeah, you got a spirit brother, protector. Somebody didn't make it out of the womb, the moon. Somebody didn't tell you that. The moon represents Cancerian energy. Cancerian energy represents nurturing. Every time I think about the Cancerian energy, I think of a mother. I think of nurturing. I can't make it up. The empress, somebody was pregnant. Empress is like, yeah, come on now. Fertility, giving birth. Yeah, the moon, somebody hid this from you, okay? Clarify the empress to the moon again i was going to say before i cut myself off there so effortlessly <laughs> the moon represents cancerian energy cancerian energy rules the breast the heart nurturing breastfeeding something about nurturing from the mother this mother possibly was struggling with nurturing you because of the loss of the boy okay it's what i'm getting it's like she felt incomplete she almost uh struggled with nurturing you is what i just heard yeah the inability something about the inability uh, inability excuse me to nurture you're coming up out of some type of an illusion about this i feel like you felt like all of your life that something was missing yeah somebody had a sibling okay seven of pentacles in the reverse why is that there archangel michael please and thank you universe my beautiful high vibrational universe can you please give me more of this energy and show me what it is i need to see yeah there's a sun i told you there's a sun somebody kept this from you the sun somebody had a boy and a girl and somebody had this issue with nurturing you this mother uh would see you or see him in your eyes some of these egyptian royal eyes but you inherited his gifts the sun you look i can't make this up a boy the sun, something about his light, something about the inability to see you in a way that she needed to with the seven of cups in the reverse, somebody's intuition was blocked or something like that. Somebody saw the boy as a gift, okay? Somebody wanted a man child 
and the girl survived is what I just heard, but you inherited all the gifts. I just heard in order for you to live this divine life, this child had to be sacrificed. This was in divine order, a tower. Somebody didn't expect the death of a child. They hid this from you, okay? In order for you to be divine, in order for you to be on the spirit realm, it's almost like I'm getting the soul needed to be split in two. This is the pull that you're feeling. This is this brother, this son that you never knew, that you were never told. Oh, my mother was pregnant with two. Yeah, mm -hmm. somebody hit a birth certificate, the tower. This caught this mother off guard. They felt as though they were under judgment for some reason. Because I'm getting this energy of why did the Most High take my son? Why did the Most High take my son? But this is a spiritual contract. It's like this brother was sacrificed. Uh, this was this was divine order. It was supposed to be this way. This is what it was. Okay. This person was supposed to guide you through the portal of life I just heard. Okay. Which represents the womb to the portal coming out of the vaginal canal. This brother was only supposed to be there with you uh, until you entered into life. And then this person... Uh, I just heard escaped death. I don't know what that means. Why am I hearing that? This brother knew something. That spirit went back to heaven, honey. Yeah, look, I can't make it up. Escaped death, judgment. What does that mean? And somehow you inherited their gift. Sometimes you, it's somehow you, I just heard some time. So maybe sometimes you, you feel this energy. You didn't know what this was. Because how can you feel somebody that you've never known, but you know that you knew them? But how could you miss them if nobody ever told you that they ever existed? Somebody wanted to um, keep this secret with the moon, the judgment. Somebody escaped death. It's almost like this, this uh, son, this brother was on some type of spiritual journey and their debt was paid, but they never needed to take a breath outside of the womb. Okay, well, let's get deep into it. Clarify, show me what I need to see. Come on through with these psychic downloads. So interesting, y'all. I've been psychic all my life. It's so beautiful. I used to have friends, y'all, that, you know, would come and be like, look at this picture. Do you think he's cheating? You know, now here I am. Look at me all over the world sharing my gifts. It's so beautiful. It's so wonderful. But yeah, listen. Something about your gifts, though, your psychic abilities, six of cups. Yeah, this is a contract. Six of cups is a past life contract. Whatever this is, this boy escaped death and went straight to heaven. Their contract was satisfied in the womb. It was never meant to exist outside of said womb. Yeah. This mother really wanted this boy, honey. Ooh, this was the higher ups, the higher realms called down judgment on these, these twin babies, nine of pentacles, slow moving energy. Okay. Somebody could have lost this baby early on and maybe you still needed to live in the womb. And so that alone was a lot. You took on and or transmuted a lot of energy because this mother already knows that the boy man child is gone. Okay. This child lived out a soul contract. I'm going to say that again, but why, but this and that now, you know, listen, this brother, this sibling, this twin lived out their soul contract in the womb and then they went back to heaven. Contract satisfied. Judgment is here. The Hierophants, that was as far as they were supposed to go. They were only supposed to lead you to the door, to the portal, to the vaginal canal, right? That was it. Somehow they were spiritually protecting you, shielding you from some type of hatred, okay? Somehow this, this uh, brother sacrificed themselves for you, but that was their spiritual contract. I just heard escaped death. That could be for you or I just heard escaped death. Show me what I need to see. Yeah, listen, did I not just say that the brother sacrificed himself? The hangman, he sacrificed himself for you. This is the ultimate sacrifice by way of love so that you could come into the world and be an ascended master. This is, a, this is some ascended master energy. Clarify, please. And thank you, Justice. Look, to balance some type of energy out, some type of soul contract. I just heard they would have killed us both. Hmm. So he sacrificed himself by way of the higher realms. Yeah, listen, something about the past, something about a contract, some type of past karmic contract needed to be settled. He was never meant to take a breath outside of the womb. I just heard, okay, come on in here. Let's just get to the spiritual work. This could be triggering for somebody. I recommend that you either do a cleansing before you listen to this reading. Maybe you need to pause it and go pray. Somebody could be triggered. It could bring up a lot of emotions. You need to feel that. Don't block that. What is that? Is that anger? Feel that. How long you plan on being angry? 
because now you know the truth. And it is what it is, and you can't change it. So if you need to go back into the womb to do some shadow work, then go back into that amniotic fluid. I'm going to need you to breathe underwater, and I'm going to need you to breathe deeply, knowing that everything happened the way that it happened. Listen, this is coming from the higher realms. Bear with me as I channel this energy. Clarify this energy, please, and thank you. Holy Spirits, give us more of this truth. Yeah, five of wands. Listen, Five of Wands is like conflict, silent competition, strength, power. It's a very strong twin, masculine, divine masculine that shielded you in the womb from conflict. Somebody could have been doing spell work over your mother. That's what I just heard. To kill the woman child. Somebody didn't even want to tell uh, what, what they were having. Somebody didn't want anybody to know if they were having a boy or a girl because somebody was doing spell work. Okay. The lovers is here. These are love children. These are love. These are love children is what I'm getting. A love child. I just heard the Abeji. Ooh, we by way of Ifa. Somebody's got Egyptian lineage. Clarify the lovers. There could have been some type of conflict, domestic violence, something. Somebody was doing something. Yeah, listen. Somebody wanted this woman to suffer and lose her baby. So this twin shielded himself. And so that you could escape death. Somebody knew that you had to go on the journey. This twin is like, I love you so much. I see a baby holding another baby in the womb, protecting the baby, shielding the baby. Cool. Jesus Christ. Yeah, there were two. There were two shielding. They never meant for you to figure this out or find this out. Clarify that six of wands. You needed to come into this life to have a victory. Yeah, look, three of cups could have been a third party situation. Somebody that wanted the father, somebody that this father could have been with before your mother. Okay. Maybe they were cheating and somebody was wishing death over these babies. The emperor, this is about a man. You need to know this Aries energy. This was about your father, a man, a man, honey. Yeah. Somebody was cheating and whoever that person was, show me this third party. Yeah, two of cups. They were angry because there were two babies. This person had made an offer to this uh, queen of cups, this empress energy, okay? Was having two children. Two of cups, that's Gemini energy, something about the twins, all right? This third party, show me this third party. Somebody was mad about this, okay? Yeah, page of cups, something about children. Clarify, maybe somebody couldn't have a baby, okay? Somebody that this emperor either was with or they kept going back to. Yeah, and they're fighting. And now here, this person has two babies with somebody. Somebody was livid. They're fighting. There was conflict, fighting, anger, silent competition. Somebody was in silent competition with your mother. Somebody is pregnant and radiantly just glowing, honey. Okay, I'm getting Egyptian eyes, these beautiful eyes. Honey, something about your eyes made this man fall in love with you. I see this man literally looking into a woman's eyes, making love to her and putting two babies in her womb, honey. Whew, Lord have mercy. Nine of Cups, he wished for these children. Okay, so whatever this is, he had a lesson to learn. Yeah. He had faith. This man was channeling some energy to the womb, okay? As he was making love to this woman, looking her in her eyes. Her eyes. I'm getting baby doll eyes, okay? And clarify, please. And thank you, Two of Cups. Yeah, look. Desires. He desired this energy. The devil represents desires, fire, passion. Two people that can't stop making love, honey. And he got this third party over here that's obsessed. That's fighting with him. This could have been somebody that he left out in the cold. No, he could have still been dealing with this person. Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person wanted a new beginning, but somebody went and started a family somewhere else with somebody that they could not deny. Something about this person's eyes, okay? Mother is absolutely a high priestess. Yeah, this man was totally deeply in love. King of Cups, okay? And somebody from the past didn't like that. Who is this person from the past, the third party? Okay. Yeah, they wanted to reconcile with this person to heal something, but somebody felt like they lost this man because they couldn't have babies. So then they started channeling some type of dark energy to your mother. Look, the chariot in the reverse. They didn't want your mother to move forward. They didn't want this union to move forward. They didn't want this man to go on. The chariot in the reverse is like trying to stop and block somebody, okay, is what I'm getting. This person wanted to heal this union, but they were barren, okay? They could not have children, and here your mother has two children and your twin 
came and was like, twin, where have you been? Listen, and shielded you from death. Oh, we, there were two babies and now there is one. This mother suffered. This father suffered. His man child. Yeah, listen. Yeah, courage. Whoever this twin is, woo we. Mm. This twin fought a battle in the womb. They're coming up as a knight of swords in the womb, energetically knowing that you have to come into the world in order to live out whatever this destiny is. Show me the surviving twin. Show me the surviving twin, Holy Spirit. Yeah. You could have been mourning. You felt like something was missing. You were sad, okay? They never told you about this twin. I'm getting a no, four cups. Something always felt like it was missing. You always felt some type of energy around you. Four of Cups is like, you're sad. A part of you is missing. You're right, but it was in the ethers. A part of your soul, this is this is two people with the same soul, okay? You needed to know this. Show me this, uh, show me this divine being. Something about your eyes though. Yeah, King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, and or Gemini. This person is saying, I stood up for you. Listen, Knight of Swords, whoever this man child is, He's saying, listen, you got to fight. This was a warrior in the womb. This person was a warrior in their past life. Okay. Somebody could have been an Asian, Jiu-Jitsu, something. That's what I'm getting. Like master. Yeah. The virgin, pure, Virgo, going within. You went within and you saw this. Nobody ever offered this story up to you. Nobody ever told you the truth is what I'm getting. Show me this divine being. What is the path and the journey? Something about your intuition. I can't make it up. Did I not just say intuition before the card fell? I love it when the truth precedes the cards, y'all. I do. As long as I've been doing this all my life since I was in the womb, baby. I was flipping cards in the womb underwater. Okay, listen. Was telling the truth with psychic abilities way back then. But nevertheless, listen, my friend. That was an impromptu commercial break about me. Somebody can do something with it. And somebody's like, girl, yeah, I know. Somebody's going to resonate. Take what you need to do with that and then they don't, okay? Maybe you want to leave it for somebody else to take, okay? Lay it down easy peasy, baby. Nice and greasy. The high priestess is here. Yeah, listen, you got a journey. You could be a very spiritual person, practitioner, reader, okay? Yeah, this is why you've been so protected, there's a baby, there's a spirit that grew up in the spirit realm. They want me to tell you this. Whoever your brother twin is, they know only an angelic realm energy. This is why you are an earth angel. This is why it's almost like you're coexisting in two different places at the same time, right? Here you are a twin. You share the same soul. One of you passes away. One of you is saying, hey, I'm going to sacrifice myself in order for you to come into the physical world, but I'm going to grow up in the spirit world. Somebody's growing up with you the same age as you, but all they know is the womb and the spirit realm. That's it. Somebody's a real angel. They don't know anything of the physical world, but only by way of you simultaneously as you live out this journey. That was a little heavy for somebody, but somebody caught it. Okay. Yeah. Your twin is an angel. They needed to be an angel. They needed to be an angel. They needed to be your protection so that you could get this victory in this life. Look, the world, I cannot make it up. Somebody pulled a magic trick in the womb. <laughs> Somebody left the physical body, overcame death in the womb, was like, uh-uh, you go. I'll stay here. I'm going to stay in the heavenly realm. I'll be watching over you. Yeah, this was the end of a cycle, okay? Something about a child leaving. I cannot make it up. Listen, the magician, an alchemist, alchemizing energy in the womb somebody was projecting a lot of things onto the baby onto the mother whoever this third party is she was very very angry that this man found his person king of cups to the queen of cups is somebody heavy in love baby somebody was looking into this woman's eyes somebody could have wavy hair long hair you know uh butterscotch skin you know i'm getting a really dark man and a really kind of fair woman you know Take what resonates. Maybe I'm seeing them in other lifetimes. So if that does not meet their aesthetics, then listen to the message is what I'm saying and just uh, take the energy that resonates. But nine of wands, you were protected in the womb. See the way that person has got their hand up? This is how this twin was protecting you in the womb. Uh-huh. Protecting your mind. Somebody wanted to come for that baby, honey. Somebody was mad about it. Oh, we. Somebody was mad. 
Somebody was really mad. They absolutely were over this union, big time. Oh, sorry, y'all. I feel like I want to sneeze. Oh, God bless my heart. Listen, show me what I need to see, Holy Spirit. Yeah, death, look. This child escaped death, but you escaped death because there was a sacrifice. This child was a magician in the womb, an alchemist, again, transmuting death and protecting you and shielding you so that you could escape death because whoever that third party was, she wanted the both of y'all to go. Look, four of four pentacles. She was holding on to this man for dear life. Oh, Lord. I always say, if somebody don't want you, they don't want you, okay? Let them go. Send them love and light and let them go or you're only going to hold yourself back, okay? Show me this third party. I just heard bitter, bitter Bonnie, angry, okay? Confrontational, five of wands, jealous. She was jealous of your mother, jealous of this father relationship, okay? Yeah, look, she betrayed him. She felt betrayed by him, so she betrayed him. She felt betrayed by him. Like, how can you go and give somebody this love and then you make a baby and you make babies or whatever this is? Ten of swords, she felt betrayed by this man, right? But she ultimately betrayed him. She's a witch. She's a wicked little witch. Queen of Wands could be real significant. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? She could have been a fire sign, heavy on a Sagittarius energy. This is a past life soul contract. Somebody did this in a past life, honey. Somebody did the same thing, okay? Mm -mm. This person could not heal. They just couldn't get past the fact that they couldn't have this man. This man fell deeply in love. Something about your mother's eyes. Something about love at first sight. Something about her getting pregnant the first time. They could have laid down the first time and got pregnant and made twins. You talk about alignment. Whoo, child. Somebody's cervix was aligned with the universe, okay? And so was the ovum and so was the sperm. Shout out to the sperm that made it, the swimmer, okay? Because somebody was swimming their ass off to get into this life. You and your twin, baby. And you had a contract with your twin, a spiritual agreement. Yeah. Your twin is saying, remember the spiritual agreement. I'm still with you. I ain't going nowhere. Look, Gemini energy. I can't make it up. Will of fortune means Gemini, twins, a veggie. Listen, come on in here and get the spiritual work. Somebody saying, don't forget what we agreed to. Yeah, look. Knight of Wands energy, a warrior in the womb. This, this person's coming up as a Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, the magician. Magician represents Gemini. Okay, even if y'all aren't Geminis, you were Gemini by way of being a twin in the Gemini energy. Somebody could have gotten pregnant around a Mercury retrograde, honey. There's so much Gemini energy here. Even if you weren't born a Gemini, okay? You got Gemini energy by way of your twin in your energy. This is a one soul that is still coexisting together. This person's not dead. They're very much around you. They grew up in the spirit realm. They want me to translate this to you. They're so adamant about it. Okay, clarify. Show me what it else. Show, show me what it else. Show me what it else. Da, 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 da. Show me what else I need to see, spirit. Listen. Yeah, you've, you've been haunting. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Listen, whoever this other person was. <laughs> This person could have been married, whoever this witch was, okay? They're mad, heartbroken. Yeah, they were trying to trap your father, bind him. Eight of swords, whoever this person was and couldn't get pregnant by him, okay? Somebody couldn't get pregnant at all, and they were mad. That's all I could tell you. Somebody tried to trap him energetically. I already know she did magic. I can feel it. Show me what this person did. Why is the eight of swords there? Somebody wanted to trap your father. Yep. So that they wouldn't go forward and have this beautiful life. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse is like blocking their destiny to be with a soulmate. Okay. This person was bitter. But they, I feel like this woman was married. Okay. Or maybe this is an ex-wife. Who knows? Oh, yeah, look. Something about these children, honey. Emotional children. Yeah, she did some type of magic so that this person would be confused about who their person was. But it didn't work. It just left her bitter, confused confounded you know this love was something that couldn't be penetrated it still is even if these people are not still alive maybe they are it doesn't matter um they're still very much connected and it's the type of love that could not have been bound to anything dark so the ten of pentacles in the reverse um 
Yeah, she wanted to block him, stop him, confuse him. Who's your person? She didn't want him to see his person. Page of Cups, okay? Sad-ass apology. This is about a child, a page, a boy in the womb. I just heard. Yeah. Jealous. Jealous. Yeah, she knows that something that she did. Your mother could have been really sick during this pregnancy. Somebody was throwing spell work at her. Okay, whoever this boy is, he was protecting the mother, protecting the twin. This this baby is no joke. And now he's a whole angel, a baby that grew up in the heavens, honey. Didn't go into another life. This is the life that he that he chose. Knight of Cups. I can't make it up. Look, Knight of Cups. Ultimate love, sacrifice, love, impenetrable love for mother, father, twin, the destiny. Yeah, he knows what he's here to do. And he's around you on a spiritual level. Spirit says light a white candle for him. A blue candle and a white candle. Yeah. Two of pentacles. Two. Two. Okay. Two. I keep getting two, two, two. Twin. Okay. Two babies. Balance. He's saying this was the balance. This is so that you could live that light. This is so you could transmute the energy. Two of pentacles. Yeah, absolutely. Clarify. Show me what it is I need to see. Please and thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Wherever this Queen of Wands is, baby, she is woo upset. Queen of Wands, she was wicked. She could have done some type of fire magic over your mother, um, wanting her beauty, wanting him not to be attracted to her. Eight of Wands energy. She could have put a lot of stress on this man or tried to. She was communicating constantly. Sagittarius energy. So this is a Sagittarius woman that did this. Yeah, she wanted a new beginning. She wanted this man. She wanted him to take a leap of faith with her. Three of Pentacles. She was even willing to play her position as the third party. Yep. Sneaky and deceptive. She wanted this man to cheat with her or cheat or do what something. Seven of Swords. Yeah. Why do married men cheat? Mm, okay. Heard a book about him. why do married men cheat? It's a piece of shit ass book. Oh, just so you know. <laughs> That is pun intended, but five of pentacles, she left this person or she felt like not left this person, but she felt this person left her out in the cold and abandoned her. It was like she couldn't seduce this person, y'all. She couldn't seduce this person. She couldn't get this, this person who was married in the spirit to cheat. Yeah, she couldn't get him to do it. Page of wands. Something about his boy, his man child. This man really wanted a son. Yeah, toil and labor. She worked really, really hard. She was cold blooded, y'all. Yeah, there's a lot of spiritual protection. She didn't get her wishes fulfilled. These are two babies that had a contract. Yeah, look, he abandoned her ass. She felt left out in the cold. He walked away. He never looked back. He sure didn't. Anything else we need to see? Yeah, look. He could have just left without a word. Seven of swords. He just, you know, never came back. He snuck away, ran away, hid, by, didn't want her to know where he was at. She could have tried to communicate with him constantly. So she just channeled energy. Something about fire magic. Oh, we. For a moment, she felt like she got a victory. I'm not going to even lie. But now it weighs her down. She has to live out that karma just because of the negative energy. She feels as though she lived out, she was living out of victory, knowing that he lost a child, but they didn't talk about the child that survived. She could have thought that this woman only had one child, that there weren't twins. Maybe that was her belief. I'm getting a yes. So she felt like when she heard that your mother lost a baby, she thought it was a victory. This was going to send this man coming back to her. Seeing this other woman as somebody that couldn't bear a child as well. And maybe that would make him, you know, come back to her. It's like, this is about bearing children. This is about legacy. This is about her feeling um, useful by way of her womb. You know, like I'm here to reproduce. And because she can't reproduce, she doesn't feel adequate. She doesn't feel um, useful. She doesn't feel as though she has this right to be a woman but again, they didn't know about you. Somebody didn't tell this person that there was another child that survived. You brought down karma the moment you took a breath outside of the womb. I can't make it up, whoever this is. Yeah, four of swords. This woman could be sick. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Spirit says, what I'm saying is the truth, child. This does conclude this story. Woo! Light a, light a candle for your twin. Light a candle for your twin. He will communicate with you. He's always there. He's fighting for you. I don't know if they told you you had a twin or not. I'm hearing no. Somebody never told you. You absolutely did have a twin. 
okay yeah oh he's so sweet he protects you from the spirit realm how blessed are you to have a twin that says i know the assignment i'm okay with the assignment even if bringing down this tower by way of you know making sure that you escape death okay you could have had a dream about somebody else or two babies playing together like i feel like he comes to you in the dream state to show himself and you're like why am i dreaming about babies maybe you had twins okay you could have asked your family your mother hey does twins run in our family <laughs> you could be pregnant with twins maybe you got twins whatever it is baby you're twinning and you're winning twin where have you been nobody knows me like you do nobody gonna love me quite like you you were made for me listen your twin you and your twin are twinning. You're winning in the spiritual world and the physical world. And here you are living out that divine self-mastery, ascended master contract by way of divinity. And so it is. So I love y'all. This resonated with you. I'm so happy. If you want to donate, thank you. If you want to send me love and light, Thank you. I send it right back to you times 10. I love you so very much. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace be with you.